barrels. Okay, we are going to open up the ditch here at Dave's to irrigate the fields. And what we have going is, this is a ditch that feeds a field farther down there. You see the stack of rock and fence there. There's another ditch down there that we're going to fill. And in this ditch is mathematically, it calculates out to about half one a half a million gallons. And uh, so Dave has a system here where this is a 10 inch pipe, right? 12. 12 inch um, polyethylene pipe. And he uses five gallon buckets which fit perfectly into the pipe as a stop for it. And he ropes it in there and uh, Dave's going to pull it out and release the water. This bucket here, particular bucket, here's a frog right there. Where? Just went swimming. Oh, I missed him. Yeah, he's under the edge. Oh, yeah. Anyway, um, this bucket here has a three-inch hole in it to relieve the water pressure. And there it goes. And if we walk over here, we will see the surge. And it will backflow up here. So that is approximately almost a foot raise in water on this side here. And then it goes rocketing on down to the next field and you can see the flow going out from here so let's head on down to the other field there's a lot of debris on top of this water from the fire oh yeah yeah we got well if you look you can hardly see the mountains through the smoke And uh, normally, uh, if the sun was up and it was a little warmer, we would be uh, whitewater rafting this. Okay, maybe not. And you can see the water is filling up here. And going down the ditch there. Dave's climbing under the horse fence and see this white wire here? Do it not bites. touch this. It bites. Yeah. And so there you see it's filling up this area here. And I think it will fill up above that pipe, won't it? Yeah, it'll catch up. It'll, yeah, it'll get up to the top of the pipe. Yeah. But uh, right now, this canal here is feeding yeah. about 1,500 trees. Yeah, 1,500 trees. And if you look down there, you can, without tripping, you can just see the surge of water. And it's just about to hit that uh, next irrigation pipe that crosses over. And that is Dave's backhoe with a, uh, what do you call it's a it? a ditch bucket. A ditch bucket. and it's a mini uh, excavator. Mini excavator. And he has made some very nice ditches for his fields. And also, if you look through the fields there, you can see all the trees Dave's got planted in there. What is it? Uh, Douglas firs, larch. What else? Cedar. And cedars. There's some grand fir, but not many. Mm hmm. And pine is forbidden. But uh, probably a couple of weeks ago, the grass in this field was not doing that well. Now that the ditch is up and water is restored to this field, the grass is doing really well and uh, horses are going to get released in here pretty soon, right? Yep. yep. Yeah, so you're getting some pretty good flow in here. That's, yeah, it is for sure. Down here where the bottleneck is. 
Mm-hmm. But there's seven canals running north and south in there, and they just run on gravity, and they water the whole field. It hasn't had any water for a couple of days now. Oh, that's right. Last time we were here, the water was overflowing the ditch it bank. Will, it will. Yeah, well, it's getting very close to it right now. There's a typical ditch, one of, one of the canals oh. right there. You can reach over the fence. But there's seven canals like that yeah. running into that field. And there's doesn't look like it, but there is about 1,500 trees in there. A lot of them, the grass is higher. Yeah, but the grass is green. Yeah. Turning green. Yes, it is. Very cool. This part of the field up here, the upper part, feeds seven canals out of that main ditch mm -hmm. that we were just looking at. And those canals will actually dump down into this one yes. here. Uh -huh. Yeah. But not much. They stop running. Yeah. It's amazing how wa how fast the water flows through this dirt. Yeah. With all the gopher holes and Yeah. To 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 this time in the summer here, I think I've only lost about 5 or 6 trees uh until their root system gets taken deep enough they'll have to be irrigated. Yeah. Very cool. There it goes. What? Oh, yeah. Overflow. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There's the overflow, which means grass. Typical flood irrigating. <sighs> okay. So that is the flow of the field. Um, I'll show the uh, closing the drain here in a minute. The mark right there. So when that's halfway up the pipe, it's 450 gallons per minute. And it's a good uh, volume. And then the pipe, pipeline. Pipeline is 780 feet long, high density polyethylene 10 inch pipe. It's eight feet lower here than where the water goes in. And the water goes in there at the rock pile up there. Now I'm going to go ahead and hook up the the to irrigate to irrigate the lower field. And this is. How Dave diverts water to the lower field. Not perfect, but now is that you, are you getting a full eight inches thick of water through that? No, this is six inch. Mm -hmm. That's eight inch. Yeah, and that has about ten feet of drop down to the bottom. Okay. There's a lot of pressure when it gets down there. Okay. So the first pipe that's ten, right? This is ten inch. Ten. Which goes six. into six, transferring it to eight. Yes. Yeah. All right. Now we'll take a walk up to where the water comes in. All righty. And uh, this is going to take a while to walk up there. And i got to cross over another horse wire, so... Oh, this is an easy horse wire. Oh! It's hot. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what fresh horse shit looks like. That's what fresh horse shit looks like. You got the camera going? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna kill it. See, here's one.